Well, we have an update tonight on a local mother of three who almost lost her life after suffering a strep A infection. And 19 months ago, this woman's husband had to make the life or death decision, have her arms and legs amputated or she wouldn't make it. Fox 26's Melissa Wilson brings you her huge announcement about her next step to recovery and you're going to want to hear what's in store for her. He's having to get good at putting makeup on. That's great. He hasn't ventured into the mascara world yet. Oh, that's yeah. scary. Katie Hayes manages to maintain her sense of humor. She has even more to smile about these days. I'm going for arm transplants and hopefully legs, but we're going to stick with arms for now. That means she may be able to clap when her son deserves it or hold her baby in her arms for the first time since she was born. Thank you. Katie and her husband, Al, have been searching for the ideal surgical team to pull off this intricate surgery. They have it narrowed down to doctors in Atlanta and Boston. They've done many successful transplants, and we've visited with both the doctors, and they're wonderful. Both places are top-notch. Before her arm transplants, Katie will undergo abdominal surgery to repair other complications. When she's completely healed, she'll be put on the arm transplant list in the spring. I'll be one of the first, not maybe not, maybe not the first uh, upper, uh, b above elbow transplants in this country. Bilateral, yeah. yeah. Bilateral, yeah. So it's exciting. The problem is I don't have anybody to talk to. Yeah. Like, what was it like? How'd it go? Katie has tried prosthetics, but it's painful. And she still doesn't have the control she needs to care for herself and her family. That's why she's prepared for the complicated and tedious 14-hour procedure to get permanent arms. They have to connect bone, muscle, blood vessels, and nerves and tendons. And tendons. Still, it's tough knowing her gain will be someone else's sacrifice. It kind of freaks me out to think that she's alive right now. There's a lot of emotions that go into this, you know. It's just so incredible. I'm so excited, but there's a lot of emotions just to be able to look down and see arms again. While this is an unprecedented surgery in the U.S., double arm transplants have been successful in Europe. The gentleman in Germany who has them amputated higher than me, he got full arms. Six months later, he was riding a bike and scratching his head. Katie and Al hope new limbs will not only make life more convenient, but will also extend her life. Doctors say losing limbs trims off years of a person's life, probably because of lack of movement and exercise. If quantity can't be extended, then quality should be improved. The Hayes are concerned about the cost of immunosuppressant drugs Katie will have to take the rest of her life. It will cost about $20,000 a year. But still, that's half the cost of year-round nursing care they're paying right now. Once I have arms, I'll be able to cook for my children, take care of them, get around the house, get things done, and I won't need a nurse. I'll be able to get myself up on a, on a toilet with a slide board or you know, a situation like that. Al has been working literally day and night to support his family. During the day, this is him teaching students in the stage band at Penn Oak Middle School. He even stays late to teach private lessons. But listen to this. You can find him most nights and weekends playing in his own band around the Houston area. Since Katie can no longer be a massage therapist, you'll often find her at Al's side, singing in his band. He's doing it all himself, and he's working really hard. We never see him. The kids never see him. I mean, he's, he's always working. So I, I just hope that we can do a fundraiser. We are workers. When we get these arms, there's no stopping us. In Kingwood, Melissa Wilson, Fox 26 News.